Good Time was directed by the Safdie brothers and stars Robert Pattinson and is the story of two brothers who try to rob a bank but get caught. One of them does anyway, and Robert Pattinson is free, trying to do everything in his power to figure out how to get his brother out of a really terrible corrections facility. It's a very bad area, and he's positive his brother is not going to survive the night. So we follow him on a real-time adventure in which he tries to do everything in his power to get money to bail his brother out. The movie reminded me of Collateral in one specific way. It's one guy's really crappy night and all of his attempts to keep digging himself out of a hole that he's dug for himself. And it's really riveting, especially because of the way it's directed. The Safdie brothers have a very unique perspective on city nightlife. They use a lot of close-ups, a lot of long takes. Sometimes it feels very documentary-esque, which is really riveting for this style because it's a very grungy and filthy movie. And this style really enhances that. And a lot of that is due to a unhinged performance by Robert Pattinson, who gives his best work ever. He's really good here. And his performance, along with the writing, is actually really ballsy. He does and says things that are considered so politically incorrect nowadays that you can't ever say in movies, but they're things that criminals in his position would do. They're not babying one another when they talk. They say filthy things, and they do filthy things. There's a cringe-worthy kissing scene that made my mouth drop, and I haven't felt that way in a movie in many years. It's been a long time since I've seen a film that has audacious moments like that that make you just sit back and be like, wait a second, did that really just happen? And while I didn't enjoy looking at it, it gave me a lot of respect for the filmmakers, and there are scenes like that in this film that make you feel like you're watching something totally real that's not Hollywood, that's not with real actors, it's just people doing something dirty and gross, and there's tons of filthy scenes like that that make you have a respect level for the filmmakers because Robert Pattinson's character in this film has virtually nothing redeeming about him. He really loves his brother, and that's about it. Besides that, he's pretty much the scum of the earth. And there, there's no amazing arc for him. There's no, like, glossy Hollywood moment where he sees the rainbow on the horizon. <laughs> this guy's an asshole, and he's an asshole through the whole movie. And whether or not you can watch a film like that and be riveted by a great performance and really good camera work, that's going to be up to you. I found this film extremely surprising and really, really fresh. Also, really good in this movie is Penny Safdie, one of the directors who plays his brother. And his work is so good here, specifically in an opening scene that has him answering these questions from a therapist or a community aide or someone like that. And you can really see the pain in his face that he hates his life, that he, he hates this position he's in. And both him and his brother are just going to try to do their best to dig themselves out of it. And it's riveting to watch them both try. Good Time is one of my favorite thrillers that I've seen in a long time. As for flaws, sometimes towards the middle it can drag a little bit. There's a sequence where Pattinson is stuck in someone's house for quite some time, and you're wondering when the plot's going to pick up again. The first 20 to 30 minutes are essentially perfect in my opinion. There's not a single flaw I could find and I was on the edge of my seat. Sometimes the film will dip down and present characters or scenes that don't really have much interest, but they're letting you know things that happened previously with new characters who are being introduced. And while the direction and writing is, as I said, pretty fresh and entertaining, sometimes the pacing is an issue. It goes from being really riveting to, okay, what's going on, to riveting again. But still, the, the neon-drenched look of the city, the documentary-esque camera work really impressed me. I'm going to give Good Time an A-. minus. If you guys get a chance to see this one, it has finally expanded into more theaters. Definitely check it out. You guys are the best. And as always, if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.